Hello, everyone, and welcome to the big show. This is Investing and Trading Live, sponsored by Online Trading Academy. My name is Josh Lilquist, and we are happy to have you with us today. As always, my good friend, my good pal, and he's looking a little different today, Mr. Al Connickson. How are you doing today? It's just me, Josh. I'm doing very well. Uh but thank you for my, noticing the change. You just keep getting looking better and better. My eyes must be getting better and better. I, sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> it's good to have you on the show here today. But, Al, we have a lot to talk about. Yeah. Big earnings this week. A lot going on in the markets. Great opportunities. But our sponsor, Online Trading Academy, on their 25th year, actually over 25 years, teaching people just like you how to trade and invest in the financial markets, whether it's stocks, options, Futures, Forex, different techniques for income strategies, but also income, uh, uh, wealth strategies, 401ks, and IRA strategies. So going back to the markets, Al, we had a little bit of a retracement or a, a little up move here in the week, especially mm-hmm. towards the beginning. But there are some supply zones overhead, actually in one as the, as the recording the show here today, that potentially could push this market back down. Now, there's odds and probabilities that we want to put in there, and that's what a lot I want to talk about today a lot, is how to put odds in your favor and probabilities in your favor to make smarter investing decisions, no matter which way this market goes. So with these markets, with, with overhead supply, could this potentially push it down? There's a possibility. So that's why you want to be in the right strategies, but also the right assets. One of the things that, you know, if you look at the title of the show here, if you're watching live on YouTube or the uh, podcast and investing and trading live, energy is almost near its highs again now, which is very concerning because, I mean, inflation isn't going to slow down the way it looks. And, you know, our gas prices are continuing to stay steady. Um, Oil prices have raised just a little bit. Uh, The dollar saw a drop right into a demand zone which is it's kind of sitting in right now. So could potentially that if that dollar does go up, so now what's happening here, Al, is we have dollar in demand and the S&P 500 in supply, where there's correlations there, I should say inverse correlations. And there's odds right there that you want to put in your favor. And that's some of the things that we'll talk about here a little bit later. But some of the high flyers this week, Al, I mean, <laughs> you look at uh, Meta, mm-hmm. formerly known as Facebook, down 24% after earnings, actually down 73% on the year Huge. from the, from its highs. I mean, that is just crazy. Facebook, it doesn't look good on the charts. How is their company doing as a whole? Who knows? But you know what? It doesn't matter because the charts don't lie. The chart is telling you what is happening. Uh, Google down 38% on the year. So these, these high-flying stocks are still aren't doing very well, but there's still that one lone wolf that is still doing really good. My favorite? Old WWE stock, <laughs> wrestling entertainment. It's up about seventy, or sorry, it's up about sixty-eight percent in twenty twenty-two. So there are some great opportunities out there. You just have to find them, but also find where supply and demand might be out of balance. Al, with the big news this week, what's your take on some of the earnings and things moving forward? Well, it's it's been a crazy week, and will continue for a while now. We had uh, some big companies report earnings. You mentioned Meta, Google. Uh, You know, and uh, Microsoft, those companies really took a big hit when their earnings weren't uh, in line with what people expected them to be. And those are the growth stocks. Those are the companies that really have grown this market really since the recession back ended back in 2009. But so we've got earnings that's impacting the market. And also GDP numbers came out this last week and and the GDP increased by 2.6 percent. Estimates were 2.4. So we went through. The two previous quarters, which were down, now this one is up. So a lot of people that were saying we're not in a recession now are are feeling a little stronger about their uh, <laughs> decision Change or their, 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 their uh, feeling. A lot of people think that this may be a, a one-time kind of a thing and because uh, everything that we're looking at really is kind of lagging. If you look at economic numbers, if you look at the earnings reports, those are lagging numbers. And a lot of what the Fed has done with their interest rates really has not been felt yet. Uh, also, this week we had uh, initial jobless claims. They were up a little bit, uh, but consumer spending slowed uh, down to 1.4% from uh, 2% for the, for the last quarter. So maybe consumer spending is starting to slow down. That has been growing the economy because that really is the engine of the economy. So, uh, you know, people are going to be making decisions based on opinions on what they think should happen going forward. 
And as we know and as we talk about every week, you, you have to eliminate those opinions because the market doesn't care what your opinion is. And we see in any kind of market condition, we can, we can be in a strong bear market, a strong bull market. You can always find things that will go up and you will find things that go down. And you mentioned a couple of things that are really important. You mentioned the supply zones and the demand zones. For people that don't know what we're talking about, those are areas that we identify on a price chart where we know big institutional activity will take place. And and really, what is the important thing? If you're going to invest in something, you want it to benefit you. So if you are on the long side of the market, in other words, if you're buying something, you want the price to go up. If you're selling, you would prefer that the that the price go down after you do that. These supply and demand zones, and just look at them as areas where there are maybe millions of buyers or millions of sellers, those are the areas where the change in price of something is likely to happen. That's where the best opportunities are if you are investing, even long-term, but especially short-term. If you're a short-term trader, in other words, if you're looking for additional income now, you have to be able to identify where those turning points are with a high degree of accuracy. Again, it's putting odds in your favor. Correct, yeah. And that's one of the things that Online Trading Academy really excels at is putting those odds in your favor and and teaching you those skills. Because a lot of people just think, oh, hey, I'm just going to go buy, for example, Meta, Facebook, down 73%. Well, it was down 50% before, and people are probably like, hey, we should go buy it because it's down. Well, you don't want to just go buy stocks when they're down. You want to buy them when odds and probabilities are in your favor that there's going to be a high degree of accuracy that institutions might be buying at that point. So Mm -hmm. we want to trade with them and not just guess in the financial markets. And unfortunately, a lot of people do that. And we have investing classes and actually a three-day deep dive into the financial markets that I want to give away some passes to uh, for people that want to get in the market. So the first one we're going to do here, let's just say you're, uh, you're, not, you're new to the market and you want to dip your toe into the market and see what it's all about, see if it's, if it's, if it's even for you. We have a, a two-hour class and this is a free class. And these are we've taught thousands, just like you, different strategies which are designed to teach you to make smarter investing decisions. So if you want to come to that, that two-hour class, we have them local at our academies here. You can text the word investing to the number 210210. That's text investing to the number 210210. We also have a three-day deep dive. So if you're that person that you say, you say, hey, I'm that person that wants to be a trader or an investor or needs help now, we have a three-day deep dive into the financial markets. There is a tuition for this. It's 99 bucks, and if you want to get into this class, you got to call in, call 888-682-6466 for two seats, and it's 99 bucks. When you call in, mention you want the three-day deep dive. Josh said 99 bucks. Coming up next, we're going to talk about income strategies, also wealth strategies, and continue to talk about these odds and probabilities and supply and demand in the financial markets. This is Josh and Al, Investing and Trading Live. We will be right back.